Hi and welcome to another Menu Monday. For returning subscribers, welcome back. For new subscribers, thank you for joining. We've had a lot of new ones recently. We love having you with join us on our channel. And for anyone, this is the first video you've watched. My husband and I live in an RV and I do cooking um, every Monday for motivation. So this week I have a lot more recipes for you. And without further ado, let's get cooking. Today we're cooking uh, goulash in the instant pot so the first thing we do is add the ground beef garlic and onion and cook that all together until it's no longer pink all your ingredients will be at the end of this video you can take a screenshot or I'll also have everything down in the description below I purchased the patties. They were cheaper than the same amount of um, ground beef in a package. So I just broke it up and used that and cost less. Always like to save some money. I know you guys do too. So after this is cooked, you're going to drain it if it's necessary. And then we're going to add the diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, water, Worcestershire sauce, Italian seasoning, seasoned salt, and the macaroni. We're going to get that mixed all together. Place cover on the pot and set the timer to high pressure four minutes. It takes approximately 17 minutes to build up to pressure before it begins cooking. On the side, I'm going to do some garlic toast, and I'm just going to use the um, Emero Lagasse Power Air Fryer 360 for that. It was a delicious dinner, very simple, and we'll be making this one again. Here are your ingredients. Today I'm going to do a chuck roast in the Instant Pot. I'm just putting some uh, Himalayan pink salt on it and I'm setting it to saute. I'm going to put a little olive oil in there and I'm just going to brown it on both sides. The only difference between the recipe that I used and what I did is that the recipe called for the vegetables to be put in a plastic bag with a little olive oil and the uh, onion soup mix and shake all that up and then put it on top of the meat in the instant pot. I did not want to put my potatoes in there because I have very small ones that you just plop in the oven, I'm sorry, plop in the microwave for six minutes. So instead I put in my beef broth and just put my vegetables in there and sprinkled the onion soup mix on top but it can be done either way. It turned out wonderful. This cooks in the Instant Pot for, it says 60 to 80 minutes. I did an hour and 15 and it was so tender. It just, uh, it was delicious, it, like melts in your mouth. I thought crock pot cube, uh, chuck roast was tender, but this was even better, I have to say. Now after that, hour and 15 minutes I did do a 10 minute slow release or natural release however you want to call it here it is before I started cooking and that was the finished plate with the potatoes that I did in the microwave here are your ingredients and I hope you try it then came the weekend and we went out both days. Yeah, really Alright, so we got done with our, our crab legs yesterday. And 
and today we are trying um, donut, burgers. donut burgers. So let's go check them out. Alright, we'll go into the kitchen. This is the chef. Yeah, he makes it. Look at, the, look at that plate. <laughs> look how fast they're going. They're going. Big Daddy already finished his. Dude. Going down. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out. Oh, look how hungry everybody was. There's not many left. But you turn the donut inside out. Am I correct? Yeah. And then you just cook the burger, put it on top, put some cheese. Yeah, you grill the donuts upside down. So. There, grill them upside down. Oh, there's hot dogs too. I didn't even see those. And then there was bacon to put on there. That's a bacon chef. Like, oh, How was your burger? It was delicious. Was that? Did you enjoy your burger? All right. Did you enjoy your hamburger? Was it good? You want to see yourself? Okay. Uh huh. You see yourself there? Today we're going to make some cheesy fajita fries so the first thing i do is i get the stir fry meat and then i cook that up with some olive oil in the pan Next thing we're going to do is cut up some peppers. You can use any color. I just got this pack to have some variety in there. My apologies if you hear the chorus. It's so beautiful down here. We've got the windows open and the door. I think it's 70 degrees. I'm in South Carolina currently. So I'm enjoying that. And I just turn the fries. I'm putting in some meat tenderizer and some uh, nature's seasoning and I think that other one was the E. Merrill um, steak seasoning too. You can use any seasonings that you prefer. Alright, now I'm just going to get the peppers all cut up now that the meat's done and I'm going to add that to the pan. This is a very simple easy meal for you know a work night or when you want something fast uh, one pan and no dishes if you want to use paper plates <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that and it also tastes good it, I thought it was kind of an odd recipe at first but it honestly is delicious Without adding it on top of the french fries is kind of odd but actually I went to a restaurant in Pennsylvania that served french fries on top of the salad and I thought wow oh, that's weird but it was really good too all right we're just gonna throw the french fries into the air fryer that's um slap your mama the seafood seasoning and then you just put the queso dip on top and here are your ingredients today we're cooking brown rice with pork chops we're starting with the rice and in this pan we're going to do one can french onion soup 
one canned beef consomme. And then one cup of long grain white rice. We're going to cover this and then place it in the oven preheated at 350 degrees. We're going to combine all the ingredients. We're going to cover it and bake for one hour. This was delicious. Let's put a little gravy on top of it also. For the pork chops, I'm just going to put some mayonnaise in a bowl. I like using mayonnaise because the breading sticks to it better. And then we're going to use a shake and bake. You can use any one you like. Um, this actually was a chicken one, but whatever flavor you like, anything works. So I'm going to take my pork chops. I chose boneless for this recipe, but you can certainly use um, pork chops with bone. We like them that way too, or done them both ways. I think there was a sale on the boneless. So we're going to dip the pork chop into the mayonnaise and coat it and then put it in the shake and bake. And then onto the um, baking sheet, which I did spray with some olive oil. A lot of seasoning put on that one pork chop. I opened up the nature seasoning on the wrong side, but we got it dispersed. And I did speed this part up for you. And these I cooked per direction on the box. And I used the propane oven for these since I was using the electric oven for the rice. It was a wonderful dish. Just sprinkled the rest of the topping on top and sprayed them with some olive oil and in they go. It was a delicious meal and here are your ingredients. Well thank you for joining me. I'll see you next Monday for another Menu Monday. Y'all take care. Love y'all. Bye bye.